Hey guys, welcome to another episode of T's Foam and Terrain and all that. And today I thought it was uh, it was just time to get back and to do a video and do a bit of a channel update, to be quite honest. It's been weeks since I've got a video out and I do apologise. Uh, unfortunately, life has been busy. Um, I've got my mother-in-law staying with us currently, uh, having a little holiday with us and, and, and seeing a uh, little one and, and, and obviously seeing myself and my wife. Um, and, uh, and work's been ridiculously busy um, and the weather's been very hot. Although, to be fair, even though the weather's been hot, I've actually been painting which is kind of a bit crazy usually when the weather's hot painting stops completely but you know I have been painting um, but anyway I just thought I'd jump on and do a short little update on um, just the progress of the channel how things are ticking over and where things are going to be going in the next I don't know, three four months and you know and just kind of let you know I haven't disappeared I haven't gone anywhere um, I obviously did have that technical problem and I did get a video back out but that was created really before the technical problem and so the whole issue has kind of been um you know i I've, I've then had a period of time when i haven't been busy uh, sorry i have been busy and and making videos has been very difficult and just generally you know how things get in the hobby sometimes you just get a little bit i don't know stale or a bit bored or i i do anyway and if anybody's been watching this channel for any length of time you'll know i'm a bit of a butterfly i do jump from thing to thing and that probably is actually going to sum up well how you know that, that's going to sum up the rest of the update so what have i been up to since we last had a video so i did actually um the last video we did was on a um uh, a contact front um gate travelers uh, episode where I, I was building the transportation rings um and fun enough i actually uh last thursday which Oh, I don't know when I'll, I'll get this out. Um, but uh, anyway, last week uh, I took it to the club. We had a bit of a play test and it was really good, really good fun. And I, I've been meaning to write up about report and get post out on Facebook, but I haven't yet. You know, life's busy. Sometimes you forget to do these things. So anyway, that was really good. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that was that. Um, I've also had a play test of uh, or, or started to continue to work on um, some neighbour rules that I'm writing, which has been really exciting. Um, and uh, my friend David came over and we've been we've been working with that and playing around with some ideas. And I think we've got something that could be a lot of fun, um, but we need to flesh it out a lot more and we need to play test it more. And anyway that's all good fun i'm sure you'll hear about that in due course um but i've also been working on something um very different uh i, I have to admit i haven't picked up my lord of the rings stuff in a month and a half to two months um i do need to get back on and finish the terrain and finish the other the, the rest of the armies of rohan so that i can get by you know justify buying the figures for the force of saruman and then once i've done those i can finish that and finish the project have some games and actually finish the project um but in the meantime while i'm sort of regenerating the kind of enthusiasm for that project i've been working on something completely different it's back in 28 mil which i i sort of made a promise to myself i would never touch again but um that's actually a lie i I do have a couple of projects specifically in 28mm, um, Gangsters, Peaky Blinders, um, but really sort of small scale stuff, nothing too big. Until I thought, um, I'd, I'd been watched, I've recently found a YouTube channel called The Tabletop Warlords, and um, two guys, I think they're from America, they're fantastic. Um, Kevin and Sergey, if you haven't seen them, uh, you should check them out. I, I, find their videos very entertaining they mostly do battle reports uh, which i don't usually watch because battle reports tend to take forever but theirs aren't they're very concise they're sort of roughly around the 30 to 40 minute mark which uh, when i'm painting is ideal i can listen with the odd glance up at the screen um but they they play gates of antares now i picked up the starter box when it first came out um and uh sort of built a couple of figures and thought oh this is fun and then didn't do anything with it like a lot of sadly my projects um and i'm sure war gamers all over the world can relate to that um but anyway i i thought you know what i, I bought it then let's get it out and, and actually finish painting the figures 
and I got started and I, I painted a couple of what they call gar, these sort of, uh, well, I think the, the gar is inside this, but this is the battle suit. And I really, really have enjoyed painting these two guys up so much that I have started painting two more. Now there's three of each type. There are, um, there are uh, a, there's an assault squad of three and there's an attack squad of three, I believe, or battle squad, that's it. Uh, basically one shoots and one sort of melees. But, so I'm working on, on finishing those. I'm, I'm, I've finished two, I'm halfway through two, and I've got two that are built but not primed at all. So that's that bit. And then I've got 20 of the Concord. Uh, now, this is my one completed Concord. And hopefully you'll think, oh, is focusing better. Hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll think, like me, that actually they're not too bad. Quite fun to paint. Uh, and a squad of Concord is only five guys and a drone. So I've actually, um, I'm sort of just currently working through the other four in the squad. One, two, three, four. And to be honest, I've very nearly finished the drone. Cool little model. I mean, I really like the models and, and I don't really do a lot of sci-fi gaming yet. I really do like sci-fi. So I thought, you know what, let's get this done. Um, and then uh, version two's just come out and it's free to download. So I thought, right, that's brilliant. All the army lists are free to download um, on the Nexus. Uh, and, and if you fancy getting into Gates of Antares, search Gates of Antares, the Nexus, uh, N-E-X-U-S, and you'll find all that stuff. But anyway, so I thought that would be great. And then of course, Warlord obviously knew that I was just getting into uh, getting these models uh, finished and they decided to do a warehouse clearance sale and they were offering 25%. Now I thought, oh, well, I could pick up this bit, pick up that bit and that would be great. And then I just kind of thought, I don't know what I need to pick up because I haven't really played the game. So where's the best pies to start? Let's pick up some starter armies. What an ingenious idea, I thought. But who do I pick up a starter army for? So I picked up the Concord. So I now essentially have in this box lots of cool bits. I've got some metal figures and I've got lots of more metal figures and I've got lots of oh, figures on plastic sprues and some flight stands. Brilliant. So that's going to get me a lovely size Concord Force plus the, the four units. Well, actually... Uh, this set comes with four infantry units and then there's a couple of, I think there's another four drone units. So I've got eight units already and that's without the starter army. Um, but that's all right, it's not a problem. I, you know, I can mix and match, it'll be all good fun. And really this is designed that, that once I've um, kind of got these armies all painted and learnt the rules or I can learn them because they are relatively simple going from what the battle reports show um and the skim of the rules that i've done um i thought this would be great for me and my nephew when we get together because we've we've started to we're trying to organize sort of a fortnightly or a weekly get together and, and play some games or do something like that just to have some bonding time um so i thought this would be a great game for it it's kind of futuristic and silly and and relatively easy and why not so anyway so i thought well i've got the concord army i might as well pick up the Gar starter army. So in there, I, which I haven't opened yet, again, I've got uh, another three of these units. I've got some rebels and I've got some, I think they're more drones. All right, so I thought that would be great. But then I thought, well, we don't want to just play Concord and Gar all the time. So why don't I pick up the Algrin? So I've got the Algrin starter army as well. This one comes with some sort of ship of some description which I thought would be great to do so I've got that one and then there was one more starter army so I thought well why not get all the ones available and that's the freeborn so I have uh, and again it comes with a ship which I'm rather excited about building and painting uh, so that's kind of where I got to uh, with Gates of Antares and I will 
work my way through it and I will just do it at a pace that I'm gonna, just going to enjoy it. It's it's for my enjoyment. I, I I know I've done the projects on here and I kind of think, yeah, no, it's really, I've enjoyed them and it's got me to actually do stuff. But I also think the pressure sometimes of having to complete stuff sometimes takes away the enjoyment. So I've decided to kind of not put myself under pressure and we'll do what we do. And, and you know what, subscriber wise, you're either on for the journey or you're not on for the journey. That's completely up to you. It's not, not, not a problem. So anyway, so that's kind of where I am with wargaming and I do need to, uh, do, um, I, I do need to finish off some projects um, so that I can uh, kind of move forward um, and do some new stuff, which, you know, I will enjoy as well. So the next thing to mention, and, and this is uh, this is where, I, you know, probably the final thing I want to mention in this update is that I've also been watching lots of YouTube recently. And uh, one of the things that I've been uh, finding is there's lots of YouTube channels about Lego. Now I love Lego and I have loved Lego since I was a, a, a small kid and um, getting pirate sets and castles and knights and all that good stuff. And then I can remember, you know, when Star Wars, I think Star Wars Lego came out, sort of the first lot in, I think around 1999. Um, I can remember getting some of the sets and I've still got them. And I just, you know, I love Lego. It's brilliant. And I guess what I do with models in the train building I kind of wish, I think as a kid, I wished I could create those sort of things out of Lego. And I tried to do it, but not nearly as good as, as you know, had I, if I continued to do it. So I've been inspired by some of these uh, channels, uh, particularly one called uh, Solid Brick Studios, who has got nearly half a million subscribers. I mean, my goodness, if that's not success, I don't know what is, but... Um, I've been watching a lot of his videos and there's some great tutorials about how you, you go about building these things called mocks, which stands for my own creations uh, or my own creation. Um, but basically, yeah, you, you don't use instructions. You just use Lego and you go to town and you make you make these um, dioramas and all sorts of things, landscapes and, and great stuff. So um, I'm kind of decided I've got sort of three weeks coming up now where I've got a little oh, I've got. I've got a bit more time than I have, let's put it like that, um, with the wife being away and little one being away, um, and it's before I go on holiday. So I thought, you know what, actually, why don't I give um, something a go, the Lego a go? And this channel has always been about kind of my creative hobbies. So whether that's, I mean, I, I, I know I set up my own model railway channel so that that could be separate, but... I don't want to set up another channel for my Lego. I kind of just want to do it all out of this channel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look um, probably over the weekend and see what Lego sets I've got and what Lego I've got available. I think I've got one grey tile, sort of one of the big grey tiles, and I'm sort of planning to set myself a challenge uh, and I want to record this and make videos about it. Um, I want to do sort of take a Lego set that I've got, say something like um, Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter, which I've got, I think I've got the original. Um, and what I want to do is think, can I make some sort of diorama on that one tile base with that and some other Lego to create a diorama based around that model? And I've also, I think, got snow speeder. So I'm thinking, you know, and I've got a couple of Naboo um, ships and, and a droid tank, I think. So what I'm basically trying to say is I've got these ideas for dioramas based around um, these mocks based around different sets. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to try and do. And I, I want to try and progress with that. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit with my nephew as well. He's going to help me. And I think that would be really cool to document and maybe do some side series, whether that's one video a week doing that and then maybe one doing wargaming. I don't know at the, this point, if I can get one out a week, that would be great. Um, so we will see how it goes and I apologize, but I also don't apologize because this is my hobby. This is not my job. Now, if I get to half a million subscribers and, and YouTube are paying me and people are sending me stuff, of course I'm going to up the amount of content, uh, might have to give the day job up, but who knows, um, but 
yeah, that's the aim, guys, is, is just to enjoy the hobby. And if you guys want to join me for the ride and people want to keep subs uh, start subscribing more because I'm doing something Lego, you know, um, then great, fantastic. Um, we'll just kind of see how it goes. So anyway, guys, I hope that gives you an update. I hope you're somewhat as excited as I am. I'm really excited to get into the Lego. And also, um, I think, you know, the Antari stuff will be fun. And I do, I will probably try to do a few videos of, based around you know i'm not going to do painting tutorials or anything like that but i will do some videos sort of maybe introducing the figures or the units or just doing a general overview of what i've been up to um and we'll go from there and we'll see what fun we have but as always guys you know please like if you like this video like other you know if you watch videos and like them please like them it helps um it fills me with enthusiasm it doesn't pay me money but it fills me with enthusiasm and that's the important bit you know please if you haven't subscribed already please do that makes a big difference as well and we'll see where this goes um and and always comments if you really you know if you like something pop a comment down if you don't like something pop a comment down i might i might just you know go okay that's fair enough that's your view but now you know that's not, nothing's changing or i might go that's a really good point i I should, you know, maybe incorporate that in my next uh, in my next video or my next project or whatever I'm doing. But hey, guys, it, hopefully, you know, this can be a two way thing. It can be an interaction and um, and this will help feed the channel moving forward, because if you're anything like me, guys, you watch YouTube for some entertainment and some escapism. And, and if this can be escapism and enjoyment and entertainment for you, then fantastic. And I, I want to make it as entertaining as possible. So so. Which reminds me, um, I do have, um, I want to do a review of the uh, 1966 Batman uh, Batcave that I've got. And that is a video that I will hopefully be doing in the next week or so. So look out for that one. I will be reviewing that. And hey, maybe I might even do some other reviews of other sets that I've got. Most of them are probably going to be old and retired. But you know what? It's something it's fun let's let's talk about it so until next time guys ha take care uh and um you know stay safe out there see you soon